ABC 15 investigators hard at work on a story for tonight at 10. How criminals are still committing crimes behind bars and getting their hands on technology to do it. ABC 15 investigator Lori Jenkley, how joining us now. This is some serious stuff. Yeah, Susan, it is very serious. And I brought this jar of peanut butter to give you an example. This is something that prisoners have access to when they're in prison. Looks like a peanut butter jar, right? Mm -hmm. um, but actually, if you look inside, I put a cell phone in here. Um, and this is how prisoners, many prisoners, are hiding, hiding their cell phones. They're being smuggled in, and they're coming up with really unique, uh, extreme ways of hiding these phones. But what's the scariest part? If you look at some of the video that we have, you know that prisons are um, very secure. They've got all sorts of fencing around it. Mm -hmm. um, but the scary part is these phones are getting smuggled in. And we did some research. We asked for two years of documentation on cell phone incidents at the prison. And we're able to find some interesting information about who is helping these prisoners get access to these cell phones and how they're actually getting into the system. And the whole reason why we started looking into this was back in August when uh, those prisoners broke out of the Kingman prison. They actually had access to a cell phone. They borrowed one from a drug dealer on the inside. So we wanted to know how often this is happening. Uh, and we'll show you some of the extreme ways, other than the peanut butter jar, that and they're actually... And not just getting them in, but using them. Oh, yeah, using them. Crimes. And some of the crimes that they're committing, very interesting. So wow. make sure to tune in tonight at 10. Yeah, it's a very serious story. You will want to definitely see tonight at 10. You can also look for an update on our website, abc15.com.